Hi, peace and love. Welcome to day 16 of our 21 day self love challenge. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about creating a sacred space. So when we talk about creating a sacred space, what do we mean by that? So we live in our homes. And as we go along year by year, decade by decade, we accumulate a lot of stuff. And a lot of these items we no longer have any need for. So your sacred act for today is one, click, uh, declutter, clean out your home, or at least pick, pick a room in your house and clean that out. Today's Friday, we're moving into the weekend. So just take this weekend to clean out your house, remove any old items that you no longer have any need for or have any use for. And, um, and then um, I want you to clean the floors, use a lemon scented uh, cleaning solution, put uh, some uh, essential oils, I would recommend eucalyptus oil or just a eucalyptus cleaning solution to clean the floors. You could put a little lavender oil um, if you're feeling a little, um, you know, uh, you're feeling a little um, adventurous. And, um, and then just clean out the floors of that room so that you have that aromatherapy um, scent going in that room, which is very invigorating and is very soothing to the senses. So the next thing I would, and, and I wanted to also point out that old items we have in the home, uh, they accumulate um, stagnant energy. And so whatever emotions were going on at that time, sometimes I've locked into those items. So once you get rid of items that you no longer need, old items, it lets it, it frees up the space of negative or of old stagnant energy, I should say. Sometimes it's not negative, but it's just stagnant energy that's just sitting there. And that opens up your space to more positive energy to flow in, new energy to come in and you to be able to create new beginnings, create what whatever you're calling forth into your life at that time, your reality being able to manifest um, your um, your new reality and creating new things within your world, um, your home, your life, for your children, for your relationship, for your family. So, so cleaning out your space, decluttering your space is very, very important. Like they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. So once you do that, I want you to be able to pick a corner in your house or in your home, your apartment, condo, whatever. Um, or your bedroom, you can just pick a, um, a, um, your, you can use your bedroom it's, since that's the first thing that you, um, you know, the first room that you see um, once you wake up, you'll have, I want you to create an altar and invest in an altar for your room. So build an altar, um, have an altar cloth. It could be just a small table, a small, um, uh, either a rectangular or a square table. Um, that you have in your house you don't have to really go out and buy a table just use any table that you have available in your home um, and invest in little figurines that remind you of the god you worship you can get um, jesus christ you can get mary uh, the virgin mary um, if you're catholic you can get archangels archangel michael um, you can get different saints you can get even whatever god that you worship just get um Figurines that remind you of that higher power so that anytime you walk past your altar, you're reminded to pray. And prayer is very essential, like I said earlier, how important it is for us to pray on a daily basis because prayer renews our spirit in the most high. And that renewal of spirit is essential for our consistent joy and for our consistent peace of mind. And once we are rooted, nothing around us can destabilize us. The world is always changing and there's a lot of noise and a lot of chaos but once you're rooted firmly in that higher power the world can be moving and there's chaos going on but you you are stabilized in that higher power and that higher being and nothing will disturb that peace and that um and that foundation that you have so um so that's your self act for today create a sacred altar build a sacred first of all create a sacred space within your home build a sacred altar within your home especially now that we are quarantined in our homes we're locked down we can't move around we can't go to church anymore so this is affecting a lot of people's uh, spiritual lives you can't go to our temples we can't go to the mosque we can't go to the churches um so um once you have 
an altar in your home, you are able to worship at that altar and have that exchange, that uh, spiritual exchange that you normally have within your place of worship. So that renewal of spirit is able to uplift you and help you become that higher version, more positive, more joyous, more peaceful version of yourselves so that you can be able to renew like i said this journey is about self-love it's about pouring into yourselves it's being able to renew yourself pour into your spirit so that you have that overflow to give to your children to your husband to your partner to your friends your colleagues your workmates um after uh, you are able to have that exchange with God and pour that love into your heart space uh, that results in an abundant of overflow so so that's your that's your the you there you have it that's your self uh, self-love act for today I would ask you to read page 22 of your um, of the spirit of a goddess book um, the first um, page 22 the first paragraph talks about creating a sacred space which just underlines what I just talked about it says this frees your mind of unnecessary distractions once you create a sacred space it allows you to more easily and readily meditate and connect to a higher consciousness your sacred space must, must be orderly and free of clutter and orderly space equates to an orderly mind and like the saying goes, cleanliness is next to godliness. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for day 16 of our 21-day challenge, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and blessings.